Hey everyone, this is Bree from Doubles or Nothing. I wanted to show you this traveler's notebook that I just made for my sister for her birthday. I just put up a video, I believe last week, about one that I made for my other sister. Their birthdays are 12 days apart, so I'm, I'm kind of making these gifts back to back. But it's, it's been kind of fun. So my first one was a mermaid theme, because that's what one of my sisters was really into. And this one is more like a galaxy theme. Um, sorry, it's my voice is a little bit echoey in here today, and I think it's because um, I'm filming in my bedroom and I'm changing my sheets out and I'm wondering if they like that all the bedding and everything that's now in the washer was like absorbing the sound because I'm like I'm annoying myself with the sound right now <laughs> but this is the only place I have so um, so this is a B6 size traveler's notebook and the outside of it is made from a faux leather that I got I buy this um, on the spool at Hobby Lobby and it's just really shiny, pretty silver, and it feels um, soft. They have some that are like more glittery and they're really rough to the touch. Uh, this one's really soft. And then I used just a galaxy like foiled paper for the cover, the top here. And I just, um, sorry, can't think of my words right now. I fused them together with some interfacing, iron-on interfacing. And so um, just one long strip be the inside and then the paper on the outside and I just left the binding. I did another strip of faux leather for the binding. And then the back is the same as the front with a white elastic, just under two millimeters. And I just used a, a crocodile to make these holes and then put these, um, oops, sorry, put eyelets in it. And then for the charm is just, oops, just this really pretty dream catcher. I got this charm from Hobby Lobby and she really likes dream catchers and feathers and. Um, this is just, this whole aesthetic is just really her style. I thought this was really cute because it has actual strings on it. Instead of it all being metal. I thought that was cute. So it looks like a real dream catcher. So when you open it up, this is B6. I'm not sure if I said the size. This is a B6 size. So it's roughly 5x7 inserts. Um, so when you open it up, first is this laminated wallet insert that I made for her. Sorry. Laminated wallet insert. And I just put this Target gift card because I had this in my wallet to show... Um, it just has these four pockets on this side, wait, one, two, three, four pockets, and four on the other side. And then um, after that, it, it wraps around this first insert, and this is the, the one insert that I actually made. So just like my other sister's um, notebook that I made, the Mermaid Traveler's Notebook, this one I made myself one insert by myself. <laughs> and this is one that is just made with um, scrapbooking paper, all from the same book, or most all from the same book that I got this paper from. So this is all I just printed, cut them down to eight and a half by 11 so they fit into my printer. And um, if you can see this, I printed a dot grid, very faint on the page, on the back side of the pages so that when you put it together, there's room, still room to write even though it has all these pretty papers in here. And she might tape or glue stuff to this side. She might leave it as completely blank. I have no idea. But she has option for writing. And so they're on the left hand side when you're first opening it up, but then obviously once you reach the center, then all the dot grids are on the right hand side. And then I just stitched the inside, just used a, um, an awl and uh, made holes and then stitched it. And then this is the back of the wallet, the laminated wallet insert. And so this, it looks like a lot more than it is, but I just lined up washi tapes to be pretty. And right here is just a big long pocket so she can put bigger items in there or like cash or receipts or just anything that wouldn't fit in these little pockets. And I forgot to say this, but on the front of the wallet insert is just, um, I just put scrapbook paper before I laminated it. And then this is just a stick on um, adhesive pouch or pocket that I got off of Amazon. And I'm not sure the dimensions to this, but I'll just link it in the description box, the exact ones I got. Um, but they're really nice. They stick really, really well. And you can't see it, so she doesn't want. If she wants this whole design to be seen, you can just take out the pages. But these were in the book too, and I thought they were really cute. I put a spot for there we go, a spot for gratitude here, just for some fun journaling stuff. And then this one is just blank. And I just cut them out of the book and put them in these pockets. And then on the back side of this is another little pocket. And this one, before I laminated it, I put down these stickers that say she has fire in her soul and grace in her heart. 
and another um, Dreamcatcher back here. And this one I use the same paper that's on the front, so this paper back here is foiled. And then this is just a business card size pocket, just a little bit smaller. These um, astrological signs were in the, sorry, in the, I had to scratch my, my mouth, um, in the book as well. And so her sign is Gemini, so I just cut this one out and laminated it. So it's just a cute little card with her sign on it and put that in this pocket. And then this feather was one of the, oh, I'm destroying my nails here with all my crafting. Okay. Uh, this feather was also in the book. So before I laminated this, I put this um, Seek Adventure. I got this from the, I think all the stickers in here are from the first like Boho Free Spirit Happy Planner um, sticker book. So not the newest Free Spirit one, but the more Boho one that's like maroon. Um, I'll link it, but there's a lot of cute sayings and stuff in this one. I didn't get to use any of the foils because the foils in that book are all rose gold and this book has mostly, except for that one paper clip, this book is all silver foil, so, uh, but I they do have a lot of pretty black ones too. So I put that in there and then I just um, put in this Loistrum B6 insert and it's just a soft cover dot grid. I love Loistrums. It's um, it's just smaller. The, the like typical ones are A5, so it's just a little bit smaller. And actually their version of a B6 is a little bit taller than a true B6 because if you see them side by side, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's almost sticking out. It's like really flush with the edges of this Travis notebook, but it won't matter. It's cute and it matches and her favorite color is blue and it fits right there. And the next insert is just this graph paper. I just got these on Amazon too just something fun she can do I mean sketching if she wanted or doodling or writing whatever and then this last one here is the only insert that is just lined like a regular notebook this is just kind of like a composition notebook there's a lot of pages in this one 80 sheets total so 160 pages and then we come to the back so the back I'm not sure if I said the back and the front just look identical and that is it so yeah all I did to make this um, before I attached them was I just cut coated the pages, the two papers in Mod Podge and then let it dry overnight and then the next morning I ironed it on to the faux leather and that's pretty much all you do. It's extremely easy, really quick, but it's like it's fun because it still takes a few hours to do all the steps. So it's just a fun, fun way to um, give her something, you know, cute and unique that I didn't just pick up at the store. So there you have it. That is the Galaxy TN in a B6 size. Leave any questions you have down below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!